Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the depth and width of a beam. So let's consider this is a simply supported beam of length L, and we want to find out the depth and width for this length of the beam. So according to the ACI, American Concrete Institute 31814 code, we can find out the minimum thickness and minimum width for a beam if we know the length of a beam so how so they have given us the formula that the minimum depth or thickness is the minimum the minimum depth or thickness is equal to the length of the beam divided by 16 so this formula is only valid for the simply supported case because this is a simply supported beam so i can write it here simply supported beam simply supported beam we can find out the minimum depth equal to the L by 16 where it is the length of the beam now let's consider that the length of the beam here is 8 meter just we took an example so 8 meter is the length of the beam so according to this formula given by the ACI 31814 the minimum thickness or the depth for this beam having 8 meter length will be equal to the L is 8 meter divided by 16 so we get 0.5 meter or we can say if you multiply this by 1000 so we get 500 millimeter so it means that when there is a length of 8 meter so we can provide the minimum thickness of this beam equal to the 500 millimeter now what will be the width for this beam so according to the another formula given by the ACI 31814 the minimum width or the breadth of a beam it is equal to the d the width the depth of the beam divided by 1.5 so this formula is used to calculate the minimum width of a simply supported beam now b d we know that the 500 millimeter so we can find the width of the beam from this formula so d is 500 millimeter divided by 1.5 so B will become 333.3 millimeter. So this is the way how to find the minimum width for a beam or the breadth of a beam. But for a simply supported case, because this formula is used for only the simply supported beam to find out the depth of a beam. While this formula is dependent on the depth of the beam because there we have seen, we have seen here the d of a beam which is the depth of a beam so this formula is used only for the simply supported beam now what are the minimum requirement for the width and depth of a beam this these are the 500 and 333 millimeter for the beam length of 8 meter now what are the minimum requirement for the reinforced concrete beam they are the, the, the depth of the beam and the width of the beam should not be less than the 225 into 225 millimeter in this case our depth is 500 millimeter so it's okay and width is 333.3 millimeter which is also greater than the 225 so it is also okay this is the minimum requirement provided by the code to have sufficient resistance to the upcoming load on the beam so our beam have sufficient depth and sufficient width in order to take its self load so this is the way how to find out the uh, depth and width of a beam and we have the simply supported beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.